Welcome to the Highlight Reel. It was a 13 point game the last time Henrik Lane and Scott County met up back on January 5th. Cardinals 71, Devils 58. Now, the last time Henry Clay beat County, the 42nd district title game back in the 2015 16 season. The two, though, meeting up again tonight in Georgetown. Good enough to take Game of the Week honors. That's right, Scott County's Michael Moreno going up for the rebound, laying it right back up and in. How about Henry Clay's Andreas Green with the Angel trying to keep the Blue Devils in this thing? Nine and all for Green on the night. The Cardinals, Diablo Stewart. Diablo. Little crossover, working it from behind the line. That's good for three. He finished with eight. Moreno, once again, going back up for another easy one. Game high 30 and 12 rebounds. He makes it look easy, and he's a load, folks. Marquez Warwick hit that game winner. Madison Central a few nights back with team by 19. Not enough for the Devils, 73-65. Scott County able to hold off. Henry Clay thinks he parts a nine block shot. 11 steals, no rejections for the Devils, just six thefts. It's really great to get a win against a good, tough team tonight. We, we beat a good basketball team tonight. I thought Henry Clay played so hard, uh, and they got a lot of production out of all their players tonight. And when they do that, they're tough to beat. I'm really happy with where we're at right now, but I know there's a lot, a lot of room for improvement, and we're just going to try to turn all of our weaknesses into strengths and just continue to build into the postseason. I'm really proud of this team. They're a great group of kids. Uh, we just got to, we got to just, uh, you know, Bring it every night. All right, let's go to Nicholsville. West Jess hosting East Jeff. Both cheerleading squads doing a joint cheer before the game for Marshall County. Dom Kruger with the big block and it leads to a run out. Drew Cook drives, gets the lane. You heard the whistle, gets it to go, plus the foul. Bruner this time going to get it going from deep, knocks down the triple. Coates, Colts jumping on the Jags early. East Jess has been Thompson, though, with the pump. Fake drives. A boys of the fender gets the lane for two, trying to stop the bleeding early. Deontay Sandin doing the same. They said he's going to go from deep, knocks down the triple. Trying to bring his squad back. West Jess and the Colt Crazies. Just too much for the Jacks tonight. Crowd <laughs> surfing. They win 78 to 55. I went after them, by the way. Including a close one early in the season against East. Colts had lost six of the last seven. The coach sees this as a huge bounce back game to get back on the right track. Very pleased. I thought our defense was outstanding uh, pretty much all night long. Uh, we shot the ball well early. We've been in a little bit of a funk for about a month. And uh, I, I feel good about what I saw tonight. I saw a lot of signs of the team that we were in December. Hopefully we'll use this as a springboard going forward into the postseason. LCA alive hit Connor Hendrickson. Yeah, that's me right there. He's letting you know about it. 18 points, six rebounds, five assists, and five steals. Evan Drew to the rack for the general six and four dimes for him. Lafayette hanging around, trimming that Eagles lead. Thanks in part to Cameron King. Good for three of his six from range. Kyle Road up to Hendrickson. Extends the LCA lead once more. Ball game here when Road misses on the drive, but Hendrickson's there to Ooh. flush it home. Road did have 19 and 12. Austin Hall, game high 21 and 8 boards. LCA takes care of Lafayette 71 56. If you're good enough to get a lead, you're good enough to keep the lead and extend the lead, you know. But um, at this point in the season, we don't have anybody left on the schedule that's checked out. So you know that everybody that we play, when we get a lead, they're going to come take a shot at you. And you just got to be able to weather the storm. And, you know, to, to get out, you know, to get out tonight against a team like that, you know, it was a tremendous win. I think our guys are growing up and showed a lot of, a lot of toughness tonight. Over to ST Roach now for Dunbar taking on Tate's Creek. Michael Corio working the Commodores. Crossover, crossover, the drives for the bucket, gets it to go in the home court bounce. Trevor Rogers snags one out of the air, hits the turnaround fadeaway. He's a big, long, tall boy. <laughs> Amari Taylor, a little drive for the Creek, stops, drops, and hits himself. Commodores hanging around Makai Webb, trying to keep the doors in this thing. Gets it to go off glass. It would not be enough. Jaquan Gray from the right side for three. PLD 61-42, your final over the Creek. And no love lost between these two blasts. Good summer get cross. Grundy connects from the top of the key with a big shot. Nice one. Briar Jumpers came into play in this one, though. This time is Cade Grundy from deep. The Grundy boys. I think they got the tag team title. They were feeling it. Cross again with the baseline. Jay Cross Grundy's going to zip that one. No. Nice jumper on the baseline there. Cross Gunny's going to zip this one to the corner as Josh Cornette finds the bottom of the net. 76-63 Somerset the upset of last year. South Western hosting Russell County. We're going to get to that in a second here. There we go. Devin Clark finds Briley Halley on the back door cut early, but the Warriors would be out fought tonight. Joe Floyd with the and one run about three Lakers. Still gets the go. Southwestern breaking down the Lakers zone, sharing the ball nicely before Jonathan Gallagher gets the bucket off the soft finish. Warriors over the Lakers, 86 to 55. A moment of silence out at the farm tonight. Head of Frederick Douglass' home game taking on Knox Central. Jalen Adams from range wants the action guy going. The right wing 
first, and he hits it from up top. Panthers up on the Broncos at the farm. The Watavian Bean in the near corner hits the three and one. Don't foul a guy behind the arc. Justin Mitchell working hard down low, bumping and grinding. Douglas still down, 78-70. Knox gets the win over Frederick Douglas. And like the girls take the forward after the break. That's right, including a return trip to Somerset for the Briar Jumpers and Pulaski County coming up next. We're the Somerset Cheerleaders, and this is the high school highlight reel on ABC 36. Paul Lawrence Dunbar beat Henry Clay early in the season 60 to 45. Before that win, the Bulldogs had lost seven straight in the series. To Al Peru would go then to see if PLD could push their win streak against the Devils to two. Could they indeed? In transition, Cheyenne Jones for the Devils. 8.7 boards for her, including that bucket right there. Dogs Anaya Cotton down low for two of her seven and nine boards. PLD hanging around. Kaya Thompson game high 23 points. Helping Henry Clay out to the lead. And Dunbar hanging around in the fourth quarter at least. Ellison Coons, 16 and 11 on the glass for EEC. Henry Clay wins it though, 61 55, your final at Al Proof. Lexington Christian Girls hosting Lex Cap Lady Eagles. Grace Combs goes and work underneath, gets the shot to go. Lady Knight's going to come right back though. Melo Giving gets the kick out, knocks down the big three. Gracie Royals, he goes to grab the rebound, and she's going to go right back up with it. That's going to extend LCA's early lead. Lex Cap once again doing their damage from deep though. This time it's going to be Ashley Freebus who's going to knock down the tray. Gives the Lady Knight the lead. LCA goes on to win this one, 42 to 12. West Jess girls hosting Crosstown East Jess. Both schools signing up banners and donations to Marshall County. East Jess is Jessica Hall knocks down the three. That's going to give the Lady Jags the lead. Hall with the feed underneath time this time to Jalen Lambersite. She gets the jumper to go. West Jess is Faith Osborne. Look at this one now. She's going to hustle for the rebound. Dribbles out to the three point line. I'm just going to do it myself. Turns around, <laughs> pulls money. Gives West Jess back the lead. Time winding down. West Jess is mad when McDonald drives hard to the basket, gets the shot to go, and the foul. That would give West Jess the lead for good. Colts win 66 to 57. Mazar Pulaski County across town to take on Somerset. Speaking of crossing, Ashley Holt crossing up multiple defenders for the game's first points. Lady Maroons, no answer with the trade courtesy of Ashley Pennington there in the near corner, right in front of the camera. Rachel Presley scoring on the block. Somerset starting to pull away from Pulaski, working on the wing. Holt shows off her range as she drills a three pointer. Later, it's Holt driving again, but dishes it out to Tatiana Brown for the bucket. Somerset bounces back after the loss to North Laurel with a 64-46 win. Southwestern girls going for their fourth straight victory, taking on Mercer Academy down in Somerset. General Wood hits the three, giving the Warriors the early lead. Hope Savori, the floor general, finds Miss Jinx on the break. Savori again on the break. This time, Daniel Feldkamp, the recipient on the block. It's a turnaround. Jaden Savori ready to do a little bit herself. Takes in the shot, weaves through. The Warrior defenders pulls up, banks in the shot. Mercy goes on to win it comfortably down at Southwestern 60 to 44. Now a little GRC Scott Kenny action. GRC's Haley Harrison with a three from deep. Big shot there. Covington Summer Secret is going to make a leap and gets two points on the scoreboard. Then a little bit later, the Cardinals Kennedy Mack making an effortless shot. Now we're going to go back to Covington again. She wasn't done. Secret finds Sophia Allen, goes for the jump shot. Good shot there. Now GRC's Mac running down the court. Gets it to go. Looks like GRC wins that one 59-48.